Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Kim. Today's topic of discussion is a very interesting MCQ regarding disconnection approach. So actually, if you say the, what is the uh, compound A, you have to find out. So it is the starting material. So four options are provided. It's a very interesting MCQ. That's why I request everyone, please pause the video, draw by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. Don't worry, after sentence, we have the right answer with explanation. So let's start. Now, what is the for what of the following compound could be A among four options? So it's a starting material. Now, generally we give starting material, we ask what is the product. But here it is asked that what is the starting material. So for that purpose, you need to come back step by step in order to get the final initial product. And that is actually called as disconnection approach. So if you for that purpose, first you need to look at the reagents. So in the second step, POCl3 pyridine. So POCl3 pyridine, what it does? So actually it's a dehydrating agent. So you can expect, okay, there could be an alcohol. So from here you can expect water removal. So through this dehydration, obviously three side, you'll get three double bond containing molecule. Now, how can you get this molecule? See, in the previous step, it is given as methyl magnesium bromide. So your step will be associated with the Grignard reagent. Now look at here. So from where you can get, obviously with Grignard region, means methyl group is extra and alcohol. So ketone plus methyl magnesium bromide, you will get this. And from where you get this, so among the four options, if you look at, so here carbonyl compound, this. So actually, if you look at, this is the star from here. So from star, another methyl magnesium bromide, if you give, so you will get this. Now let's watch the forward reaction that will help you, I guess. So first step one is reaction of these one, three, five tri ester, methyl ester. So if you react it with methyl magnesium bromide, first step, it will result in ketone. By the way, this is the intermediate. It, you cannot isolate this. So it will be produced as the intermediate and these intermediate will react further with the second equivalent of Grignard region. Why? Because ester, this carbon electron deficient, Grignard attacks, means I mean these attacks here, this carbon, it attacks in the carbonyl group, opens up, come back, it leaves. So in this way, three ester reacts similarly, it produces the first. Second step, this carbon is also delta positive, it is delta negative. So in the second step, this methyl group, because remember the methyl group in this Rignet region, it is delta negative. So it will attack, it will open up. So it will result three step tertiary alcohol. So, okay, fine. Now, by the way, you may think, okay, what this POCl3 does? If you look at this, it is also a kind of acid chloride. So if this 3ClR3OH, then that is orthophosphoric acid. So it is a acid chloride also. Actually phosphorus oxychloride, it is said because one oxygen there. So what this alcohol does, this alcohol can attack this phosphorus center. Now, why this alcohol attacks this phosphorus center? Look at three electronegative electron withdrawing group attached with this phosphorus and second thing. Phosphorus chlorine is no bond is not that much stronger compared to phosphorus oxygen. Why? Because if you look at phosphorus oxygen, so phosphorus has vacant d orbital along with the sigma bond. Additional stability I'm talking. It has a vacant d orbital and oxygen has filled p orbital. So from there back donation takes place resulting in further stability or strength of this phosphorus oxygen bond. So this O minus attack here, it opens up, it comes back. So like acyl nucleophilic substitution means a star formation type reaction you can expect. So in the first step you can expect that will be a phosphorus a star formation. So you may think like that I'm just giving a, you a brief. So O, P, O and this sec 2 valency I'm not focusing. Now during this reaction one Cl comes out. So that Cl, so you can expect that this hydrogen could be abstracted by that Cl. It will come there, it will go and resulting in an alkene. So that means alkene here. So by the way, there were two methyl, which I have not focused here. So you can write it methyl here, methyl here. So you may ultimately get the alkene. 
So in this way, three OH are there, elimination to produce this symmetrical group. Step 3. Now, what, which of the following compound could be option A? So, obviously, from this discussion, we understand this. Now, if this question is provided in your exam, how can you get the right answer less than 30 seconds? It is really challenging, student. So, how can you do that? For that purpose, you need to remember. See, it is actually a symmetrical product. So it is a it is a trick student, it is a symmetrical product, tri substituted. So you can expect sir, I need a tri substituted symmetrical reactant. Who is there? So you can say option A there, option B there, option C there, but option D is not a symmetrical tri substitute. It's gone. So first, second thing, you are reacting this with methyl magnesium bromide. Now if you say aldehyde. So there is one hydrogen attached to it, this carbon. So how can you get this part? Difficult. Why? Because this Grignard will attack here and it will produce this secondary alcohol. I am not writing rest of the part. So it is okay, CHOH and here methyl. So there will be elimination. I mean this hydrogen, this OH will be eliminated and ultimately it will produce methyl hydrogen substituted alkene not a dimethyl alkene so from that per point this is gone what is remaining so you can say sir option b and option c now grignard results grignard reaction reagent result but here if you look at both are methyl but if you look at here one is phenyl already there now it can react with the grignard region but the then your product will be methyl phenyl, but here methyl is given, so this is gone. This is remaining, this is the right answer. So this is the overall discussion. I believe this very, very useful. And if you really consider the content of my channel is worthy, then please help this channel to grow. And if you have any doubt regarding the logo of my channel, please visit this part. Your doubt will be clear. So see you in my next video. Bye-bye.